Hello guys, so today we're going to be building the Conrail SD80 Mac in Minecraft. Now this is what it looks like, and this was a request by Spectrum YT, and he actually requested a bunch of trains about a year ago, or over a year ago actually, and I wasn't even bothered to build one of the train requests, so here we are, we finally built the Conrail SD80 Mac one, and this is what it looks like, and yeah. So let's get started on the train tutorial. So let's grab the nether brick stairs, black concrete, the oak fence gate, and the acacia fence gate. And let's add three nether brick stairs on the ground, like this. And add upside down ones on the sides, like this. And in the middle, let's add an oak fence gate, and from the back, we're going to open this, so it sticks out like that. And then black concrete on the sides. And then let's add upside down other brick stairs on the sides of that. And this is my longest, um, EMD or GE train, or basically American train. But my actual longest is the Renfei 251. 35 blo or 37 blocks, actually, and the Conrail SD80 Mac is 36, average is 34, 35, um, anyway, so let's add 34 black concrete in the middle, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Then we're going to add an acacia front skate, and from the front, we're going to open it, sticking out this time. And on the sides, let's add two black concrete, so it's five blocks, and three on the bottom, like this. And let's add upside down other brick stairs on the sides, like this. And now let's add two black concrete on the sides as well. And one sticking out on the back blocks, like this. And let's add a black concrete in the middle here as well. And then the five blocks are going to have upside down nether brick stairs, like this. And then, um, let's grab the nether brick wall. And let's add nether brick walls in these corners. Then black concrete blocks. Then two nether brick walls and black concrete. And we're actually gonna do that twice. Another two nether brick walls and black concrete. And then let's add another brick wall. And most fuel tanks are twelve or eleven blocks long or below. Eleven or 10 is average, but it's also an average of 9 or 8, but this one is 12 blocks. So let's add black concrete in between here, and make sure it's 12 blocks, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I am correct um, with that. Now um, we're going to move on to the wheels, and uh, I actually do this new... Um, detail on the wheel, so let's grab the nether brick slab and the gray concrete, and let's add um, gray concrete on the sides here, on the singular gray concrete pillars, on the sides we're going to add gray concrete, and usually in between I would add a black concrete like this, but I've decided to start just using slabs. Um, now, there's a lot of trains that I'm going to do a tutorial on in the future that still doesn't have this new design, but all the trains that I've made recently are um, going to have this design, and the first train to have this design was the NSC 40-9, which we'll have a tutorial later on. Um, if it gets voted in the pinned comment in this video, it will be next. If it doesn't get voted, it will not be next. Anyway, let's grab the dark oak fence gate, and we're going to add dark oak fence gates, 
underneath all the nether brick walls here, like this. And the nether brick wall is, um, not nether brick wall, uh, the dark oak fence gate is a big part of this train tutorial. And we're gonna be using it a lot. Um, once you finish the bottom, it will be, um, unused, but until then, we're gonna be using this a lot. And in these blocks, we're also gonna add the dark oak fence gate. And now let's grab the, um, smooth court slab, the hopper, and the daylight detector, and the nether brick wall. And I'll give you time to get that, um, just use the pause button, because I actually don't have a lot of time to give you time, so, let's, uh, start. So, on these gray concrete blocks, we're actually gonna add hoppers, like this. And, uh, now above all the hoppers we just added, let's add the nether brick slab. And we're actually done with the hoppers for now. So, actually, I don't even think we're using hoppers again. Um, now let's add a smooth quartz slab and all these um blocks for the staircase like this and once that's done let's uh let's grab the nether brick slab and the wheels are very detailed so they're in a certain pattern so you're gonna have to watch closely for this so let's locate the axle right here on the front right side on either sides of the hoppers or the hopper we're gonna add Upper nether brick slabs, and then behind the rest of them, we're gonna add more. And uh, we're actually gonna do the same thing on the back. So, on the front one, add nether brick slabs on either side, and behind them all, we're gonna add more. And on the left side, um, it's gonna be similar. On the front left side, we're gonna add another brick slab in, fr in the front of all the hoppers. And the backs will be not slabs. In the back, however, on the left side, we're actually going to make it symmetrical to what we did on the right side, like that. So it looks like that. And now in all these uh, gap blocks here, we're going to add dark oak fence gates, like this. And now let's actually, um, do the rest of the details. So, uh, this very back nether, or, I mean, dark oak fence gate, um, in the front right side, is gonna have a nether brick wall above it. And then let's add daylight detectors everywhere else, and right click them. Actually, not get rid of the daylight detectors. We're not gonna do that yet. Um, because, uh, there's a reason why, which we'll, uh, list later. I'll just make sure I don't forget. Um, let's add a, you see this dark oak fence gate here on the back? Well, above it, we're gonna add a dark oak fence gate again. And we're gonna add another brick wall above the front one. On the left side, um, we're actually gonna add a dark oak fence gate right in the front there. We're gonna add them on either side of that another brick slab there. And above this one that doesn't have anything above it is gonna have another brick wall. And on the left side, um, we're gonna add a lot of stuff as well. Above these two, uh, dark oak fence gates, we're gonna add more. And, uh, we're also gonna add one on this side as well. And another brick wall right there, like that. So, on... All of this stuff here, and all of that, it should be, uh, nether brick walls. Kinda symmetrical, or lining up like that, I don't know how to say it. Um, actually not. In all these remaining blocks, we will add daylight detectors, I'll just, uh... The reason I didn't want to do it now is because, when we place a block above, um, 
the daylight detectors will uh, activate and uh, just um, open a bunch of these fence gates, but you can either fix it right when it happens, or you can fix it all at the end, but I recommend doing it as it happens, because you might forget later on. That was also why I didn't want to do these later, because I was afraid I might forget, because I am very forgetful. Um, anyway, let's move on to the fuel tank. It's not too complicated. The first step is very simple. We're just going to fill this whole entire row underneath here with some more black concrete. And now let's grab the nether brick stairs, and our hot bar is now full. Sad, upside down nether brick stairs. On these rows we just added, like this. And on the right side, we're gonna add two nether brick slabs in the front. Back to back, upside down nether brick stairs. And then we're gonna fill the rest in with more nether brick slabs. Left side's not as simple. We're gonna add about three nether brick stairs in the front and six in the back. And let's grab the dark oak fence gate and let's add a uh, one right here on the front and open it toward the back. And now let's grab the dark oak fence gate and do the rest of the details so we can get rid of it. And let's add a sideways one in the back here. And on the sides, let's add opened ones in here. And let's do the same thing in the front. And uh, I think we're finished with the, the dark oak fence gate in this uh, video, so uh, bye bye. Um, now let's grab the uh, acacia fence gate. And let's add an open one right here, like that. Um, also, about that um, dark oak fence gate, I will just uh, get rid of it like that. Um, let's see. Um, let's do these remaining details for the couplings, and then uh, we'll be done the bottom for now. And we can just work on these fence things on the front and the back. And then we can just do the rest of the locomotive, which... Hopefully it doesn't take too long, um, so let's grab the dark oak button, tripwire hook, nether brick slab, and dark oak slab. And on the front, let's add a dark oak slab right here, and you know what, we also gotta grab three things, which I'll list off right now. Birch button, smooth quartz block, and item frame. Let's add an item frame on the sides there, with smooth quartz blocks in them and birch buttons on those blocks as well. And then here, let's add another brick slab in the back with tripwire hooks on the sides. And let's add dark oak buttons on the ends, like this, right here. And, uh, yeah, um, now let's work on these fences. So I'll just grab all the items we need, which Shouldn't be, uh, too complicated to get. We just need some birch fences, birch fence gates, the warp fence, chain, smooth quartz slab, and nether brick slab. And we now have warped fences, which are a bit better for the light blue, and a bunch of warp stuff, so that helps a lot. Um, if we didn't, um, this train would have been really hard to make, so, um, Minecraft, um, Thanks for the warp stuff. It, um, really helped with a lot of my trains, actually. The CSX ones as well. And the BC Rail one there. Helped with that, too. A lot. Anyway, uh, yeah. Now let's add two birch fences on the sides here. On the front. And on this little, uh, second wall here. Let's add just one birch fence. And now let's add it birch fence gate on the sides there like that and then let's add two warped fences for light blue and on the sides let's add more birch fences and now let's add a uh, oh we forgot an item end rods and let's add end rods on the sides there like that and now let's add a v-shape of smooth quartz slab with another brick slab in the gap 
Now it's got a sideways chain in the middle, and that's done in the front. Now let's do it on the back, which is, a. Uh, um, let's grab the smooth court slab, and let's add a T-shape, like this, so it sticks out into the coupling, er, coupling, like that, and let's add two birch fences on the sides, like that, and two warp fences coming up here, like that, and let's add two sticking out, as well, and then a sideways chain in between, and on this secondary wall on the back, we're gonna add three birch fences, like that. And, uh, now we can actually get started on the, uh, locomotive. So, let's grab the light blue concrete, the smooth quartz block, prismarine brick stairs, black concrete, and light blue carpet. And then we'll grab all the detail items later. And let's add two light blue concrete on the sides there, like that, and a smooth quartz block in the middle. Now it's at five smooth quartz blocks above, like that. And now it's at a light blue concrete in the middle, and one to the right as well. And uh, now let's add black concrete behind there, and one sticking out like this. And now it's at two prismarine brick stairs on the sides. Um, I'm sorry for going fast, I'll uh, just let you uh, copy this quickly. No, an upside down one. Um, facing into there like that. Um, there's a little door thing here, and that's supposed to be a window. Like that. And let's add three light blue carpet above. And now let's grab the light blue concrete, and let's grab the prismarine wall and prismarine brick slab, and the smooth quartz slab as well. Um, I'm sorry for grabbing so much items, but uh, yeah. It will help us though. So let's grab the light blue concrete and let's add five light blue concrete here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now is when you're gonna start noticing that these fence gates are gonna open from the daylight detectors. Just right click them again so they're uh, once again closed. Now let's add a prismarine wall, a light blue concrete. Um, and then let's add two prismarine brick slabs, and then three light blue concrete. And then now we can just fill this entire row in with smooth quartz slab, going all the way back here. And now is when you go and want to check for all these opened dark oak fence gates. And it actually wasn't that bad on the right side. Um, the left side it's probably going to be really bad, so um, yeah, there's going to be these two, and this one um so be prepared so let's grab the light blue concrete and on this side it's much more simpler we're just gonna add about eight light blue concrete i believe no nine we're gonna add nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine i remember in one of my retries that gave me a heart attack um, now let's add a row of smooth quartz slab once again. Whoa, I just right clicked that at the perfect timing. Well, uh, now the, uh, daylight detector problem isn't that much of an issue anymore, but I'm still, um, gonna keep, uh, I'm just gonna push off the debug stick stuff. We're doing it all at the end. Um, Let's, uh, work a little bit back now. So let's grab the smooth quartz block. And on both sides, we're going to add five. One, two, three, four, five. So it should stop just before this prismarine wall. And line up on the left side, too. And now let's add a, up here, a light blue concrete. On all those ends. And two smooth quartz blocks in the middle, like this. And then let's add light blue concrete on the back here as well. And uh, let's actually uh, just uh, fill this in with the 3x3 three three of blue concrete. As well as 3 up here. Um, it should look like that. 
And let's add one behind there. Um, I think it's actually a useless detail, but, um, I did it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't even, I didn't even do it on the other train. You don't have to do it, but if you want to, you can. Um, either way, uh, let's grab the smooth quartz block and add a T-shape of it right here. Now let's grab the smooth quartz stairs and prismarine brick stairs. And let's add smooth quartz stairs on the sides. And three prismarine brick stairs behind, like this. And now let's grab the black stained glass block and black stained glass pane. And let's add two on the sides, like this, um, for the glass panes. And then glass blocks um, in the front here, like that. And let's add warped trap doors, like this. And, uh, um, now let's grab the, uh, birch button and warped button. And let's add three there for the conrail thingy. And one in the middle as well. Up there. And birch buttons on the sides. <laughs> like that. And now let's add a 3x3 three three of light blue concrete up here as well. And now let's grab the uh, warped button again and add two on the sides there, like that. And two on these blocks on the sides. I'm not, I think they're just for the numbers. And one down there as well. And let's add two light blue concrete up here and three here as well. And let's actually add another two as well up there. And let's uh, just connect that part with warped trap doors and two up here as well. And now let's add a two by three of light blue carpet, or carpet, concrete behind there and three above as well. Is, uh, that's uh, for the wall behind the cab, and this is for the top, and just more of the wall here on the right and left side. And let's add another down here on the left side. And on the left side, let's just uh, fill that in with light blue concrete. And on the right side, let's now uh, let's fill this in with light blue concrete this entire wall going up here. These two blocks are actually going to be uh, something else, so let's just add one block there because uh, we need to place it a certain way. Let's add another of white blue concrete behind there as well. And now is uh, when we can actually do some details. So let's grab the bedrock and the prismarine brick slab. Let's add two bedrock there, and two up there. Let's add two upper prismarine brick slabs with bedrock behind it. And, uh, you know what, I actually forgot something. Um, let's grab the nether brick slab, and add some on the sides there, like that. And, uh, now that that's done, um, we can get rid of the black stained glass pane. And let's, uh... Just fill this middle row here with light blue concrete and uh, add a light blue concrete on the front there and two bedrock right here. And now let's grab the acacia wood um, and let's add two going up for another vent like that. And now starting where this acacia wood is, let's add three light blue carpet. Behind that, we're just going to fill with some light blue carpet, like that. And now let's add three light blue concrete, or three by three actually, and light blue carpet above that. And now let's grab the prismarine brick slab and the prismarine brick stairs, and let's add a stairs, like that. And then four upper prismarine brick slabs, like that. Now let's add a block behind there for detail. And let's fill this bottom row in on the right side with the light blue concrete. 
and let's do that on both sides. Fill this in with like blue concrete all the way back to those uh, other brick slabs. And a concrete in the middle as well. And uh, now let's, uh, let's grab the light blue concrete and let's add a 2x5 of light blue concrete. And, uh, let me see here. I made a mistake. Um, I'm actually supposed to remove that one block there. And that's it. Now let's add three right there. And let's just add a 2x2 two two in this gap. And let's now grab the prismarine brick slab. Fill that in with prismarine brick slab. And, uh, this train still doesn't have a lot of its details. So now I want to focus on details. So let me just, uh, grab all the items in advance so that we can, uh, so I can list them off for you. Um, and then, uh, we can continue. Because I have a lot to cover, um, officially, so, yeah. That was a way different pitch in my voice. Um, alright, uh, I think that's enough for now. Yeah, so let's add, let's grab Acacia buttons, and let's add two underneath these two warped buttons on both sides, and let's add two ladders on the front there, and one on the back as well, right there, and let's add a light gray stained glass pane on the front on both sides, and then behind an open birch fence gate. And let's also add two open birch fence gates on the sides there, as a part of some ladders. And one on the top here for the lights. And let's add an open warp fence gate for more ladders. And now let's add the birch sign right there, and that's for the numbers. Now you don't have to add it, but if you do, we're going to type in enter. And then you can type in a four digit number. Um, now if you want to be realistic, you'll have to, uh actually uh go on google and look for the number of any conrail sd80 mac but i um i chose 4124 so press enter and if you want you can type in 4124 but if you want you can also go on google and find your own number custom you know and now let's add a let's see Let's add two warped buttons underneath these two acacia buttons on the left side. And toward the front, we're going to add one. And behind it, we're just going to fill that in like so. And let's leave a block from there and add a warped button. Leave a block, warped button. And underneath the bedrock, let's just... Actually, let's just add it all around there like that. And underneath this first warped button, let's add a birch button. And underneath the second one, we're going to add a birch sign. Don't type anything in it. And then underneath the birch button, like that. And now we're going to grab the light blue concrete. And uh, you see this one block here? We're going to add blocks all around it like that. And a whole row in the middle here as well. Um, Actually, I'm going to go back two blocks past this 2x5 we placed here. You know, we gotta do some details on the right side, too. So let's grab the warped button, and let's add one up here. And a birch sign underneath. And I think that's it for now, with that. Um. It didn't even occur to me about the door banner on this side. Oh well. There's nothing there, I guess. Alright, let's grab the birch button back. And let's add three warped buttons up here, a birch button, and then two more warped buttons. And let's add two light blue concrete on the top here, and two in the middle. And now let's grab the smooth quartz slab and the smooth quartz stairs. And now let's add upside down back to back stairs down here. And back to back, right side upstairs there. 
for a weird, I don't even know what that shape is, a little bit of a circle, um, I guess. And then underneath the rest of this, we're just gonna add, uh, some smooth quartz slab. Um, actually, on the left side, we're not gonna fill in this last block, but on the right side, we're actually gonna add one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, um, this one's a bit closer to the front on this side. And let's fill this entire spot in with, uh, light blue concrete. And, uh, now let's grab this prismarine brick stairs. And let's add sideways ones on the sides. And one facing toward the back, like this. And let's add a light blue concrete in the middle here, like that. Um, two blocks away from this sofa thingy. And above that block, let's add a dark oak fence gate for the horn. Now let's fill the rest of this in with the... Dark, per or, I mean... Uh, prismarine brick slabs, like that. And that's what it should look like. And now we're gonna grab the birch sign. Let's add two by the smooth court stairs, and three by the front. And on the left side, let's add the same thing. Two there, and three there. And put nothing in it. That's supposed to say, uh, Conrail quality, but I just use signs for detail. And now, uh, the train starts to get a little bit easier from this point until, uh, we get to the debug stick stuff, the door banner, etc. Right now we don't have to worry about that, though. Right now we're gonna add two warped buttons in the front, and three above here, so just above these birch signs. And then this one block, we're gonna add a birch button. <laughs> And, uh, now we're gonna grab the light blue concrete, and we're just gonna fill in these three rows here, with light blue concrete on both sides, because there's no other blocks interfering as details, so we're just gonna fill this in. Now this one block is just gonna get two more blocks, so it's three blocks tall, but the rest here is gonna be four blocks tall. In fact, we're actually gonna fill this block in with the light blue concrete. And let's add three up here. And three behind there. And one on the top, sticking out like that. And now let's add three prismarine brick stairs, like this. And now let's add some on the sides, like this. And, uh, on both sides we're gonna leave two blocks from these stairs here, and add a prismarine brick slab. And there should be leaving two blocks in the middle. And, now here let's add some prismarine brick stairs sticking out of this thing. And now on the sides, let's add upside down prismarine brick stairs. And, Leaving every two blocks from here, we're going to add upside down prismarine brick stairs. And in between these blocks, we're going to add upside down black stone stairs. Um, like this. And let's add two dark oak trap doors in the middle. And on the sides, warped trap doors like this. And let's fill this in with light blue concrete. And let's add polished blackstone pressure plates. And, uh, above all these light blue concrete blocks. And now we're almost done the train. I'm also doing the debug sticks. Um, like you're doing the debug stick details. So let's grab the ladders on both sides, let's add two ladders, and let's grab the warped button, birch button, and the jungle button, and the warped fence gate, and that's it. So let's add a birch button right here, 
And one under here. Lining up with this end dark prismarine or prismarine brick stairs. Now let's fill this in between here with warped buttons, just like that. And above the birch buttons, we're gonna add warped buttons and jungle buttons in between. And uh let's add three uh warped buttons on the back here. A jungle button in between here. And two warped buttons there like that. And let's add two by two warped escapes. And that's for the vents. Um it was really hard for me to do the vents, so I just did that. On the right side, um, we're gonna add five warped buttons down here. A birch button, we've blocked two birch buttons. Now let's add one here, and one here. Now let's add a warped button there, one there, and three on the front. Um, so it should look like that. Um, I'll give you time to do that, because I went really fast. Um, Alright, now let's grab the acacia button. And let's add one in there for detail. And now we're gonna um work on this. So let's add a birch sign here, and I think that's just where the Conrail will go. Now let's add prismarine walls like that. And now let's grab the light blue stained glass pane and gray stained one. And let's add these light blue stained glass panes on the bottom there, and one on the top. And then a gray stained glass pane right there, and that's for vents. And let's grab the birch landscape and an opened one there for the uh, lights. And if you're on a computer, you can actually just hold control and scroll click or middle click to get the birch sign NBT we did on the front for uh, the numbers. If you didn't, just type in the same thing we did on the front with the numbers and do it onto the back just like this um that's what it should look like and i think we're actually almost done now we just have to do the railing i forgot about the railing and i also have to do the door banner and then all the debug stick stuff which will be a pain but um there's not too much of it thankfully we just have to do a lot on the bottom, and then we have it easy for the rest. We just have to do that thing, that, this whole thing has a bunch of it, and that could be it for debug sticks. I know there's a lot more than that, but apparently I'm wrong, and oh, I forgot to do the interior cab, which I'll uh, do after the rest of this stuff. So let's grab the, uh the loom, the black banner, and two light blue dye. And let's add a light blue border, and a light blue purface inverted, like that. And let's add the banner on the left side. Apparently I didn't do it on the right side, so we're gonna leave that alone, I guess. And, um... What's next? The railing. So let's grab the, um, actually this actually has a lot of resources required, so I'm just gonna grab it all for you. So let's grab the warp fence, string, prismarine brick stairs, and light blue carpet. Let's add a 2x2 two two of warp fence there. And let's add 4 down here. Um, Starting from this prismarine brick slab here on the back, lining all the way up to this birch sign. And let's add a 2x2 two two right here, like this. And down here, let's also add two more. And leave a block, add two. And keep leaving a block and adding two. Until it should, eventually, con er, connect to the birch fences. Like that. And let's add a prismarine brick stairs there. Like that. One here. And one here. And let's add a string. In between all these blocks. And this train is actually very odd. Um, 
Usually I would add a uh, white carpet here, but on this one it's actually just entirely like blue carpet, so we're gonna fill all this in, even those birch fences, with a light blue carpet, just like this. Let's do the railing on the left side. So let's do a two by two in the front here. And two back here. Now let's go all the way down here and make two. Then leave a block, add two. Leave a block, add two. And keep doing that. Until we, uh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It's leaving a block from those birch fences. And that is where we're actually going to connect it, like this. And now let's add string in between all this. Um, actually here we're going to add a prismarine bridge stairs. No string required. And we're going to add light blue uh, carpet on the side here, like this. And we're also going to add about one light blue carpet above that birch fence thing there like that and I think that's actually it for the Conrail SD80 Mac if you're not doing the debug stick details if you are oh actually before we end the video I actually still have to do the indoor cab which I'll grab the items for just a moment um, we're gonna need the lever stone button prismarine brick stairs and warped fence gate we're gonna go in here and add prismarine brick stairs and an open warped fence gate right here, like that. Now let's add a lever, like that, there, and there. And then a T shape of, or a upside down V shape of stone buttons. And one on the back here as well. And let's add a lever right there, spare detail. And then let's cover the hole up with. Like blow concrete, and now you should be done if you're uh, not doing the debug stick details with the debug stick. Um, so yeah, now let's move on to the debug stick stuff. So, yeah, let me just uh, get the items. There's a lot of items. Okay, I better make this quick too, guys. Uh, my voice is starting to dry out, so. <clears throat> Um, I have to get this done quick before it gets really bad. So, we're gonna grab the dark oak button, the acacia button, the polished blackstone button, birch button, tripwire hook, which I cannot place there, and a block of your choice, so I'll just place the block of your choice and a tripwire hook there. And I'll give you some time to get all that. Um, actually, you're gonna have to use the pause button because, uh, I'm gonna try to get this done fast. So... Let's start off with the, oh, I forgot the primary detail, slash give, at s, debug, and then tab, a daw. Now if you're just lazy to do the debug stick details, or you're on an edition of Minecraft that doesn't support debug sticks, then you'll have to finish, um, now, because, uh, the rest of the train basically just uses debug sticks. Now it is good to watch in case I forgot a detail, but I think I've gotten everything conquered by now. So, first with the debug stick, we're gonna get the dark oak buttons on these stairs on the front here. Um, for stuff. And this nether brick wall on the front here is gonna get a birch button. And here we're also going to get dark oak buttons on these, uh, hoppers. I really wasn't messing around with the, um, debug stick on this train. And these front two slabs are going to get dark oak buttons. And you see these, uh, back-to-back -back stairs here? Well, the front one's going to get a birch button. And we're going to leave a block from it. And we're going to get a tripwire hook on this slab here. And we're also going to get another birch button on this nether brick wall. Now on all these hoppers and the back two slabs, we're going to get the dark oak button there, like this. 
And on the left side, we're actually going to, uh, uh, the left side is very complicated. Alright, we're gonna start off with the birch button. And that gets simple from there. So you see this very front slab here on the back wheels? Well, we're gonna get a birch button there. A birch button on the, uh, nether brick wall. And we're also gonna get a birch button on this front nether brick stairs. As well as one on this front nether brick wall. And now all the hoppers are gonna add dark oak buttons. two slabs are going to get the dark oak buttons and the front two slabs are going to get the dark oak buttons like this and once that's done we're almost done um i think there's one more detail we gotta do i'm just really checking this to make sure i didn't forget anything else um, I think all we have to do now is just this detail in the front that's, uh, a bit optional. So there's, um, on the sides there's this, uh, red light that can either be red or turned off. If it's gonna be red and on, we're gonna add the acacia button on these stairs here. If it's gonna be off and dark, we're gonna add the polished blackstone button. I'm gonna make this one actually have the, uh, the red lights, the original, like this. And the one I just made have the polished blackstone button. And that might be it for this train, so, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this train tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like or dislike. Uh, please don't leave a dislike. Um, unless you really hate me. But anyway, yeah. That's it for this train tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah. Goodbye.